Hi, this is Honda the Honda Mackinen. Today we're talking more about video game manuals. So I recently made a video where I talked about the Finnish names in the original Finnish manual for Super Mario Brothers, and a lot of people also requested that I would talk about Finnish character names in the Donkey Kong Country games, and I kind of feel bad about having talked up the uh, the Finnish names. Because even though I was talking about the Donkey Kong Country games, I only really have the manuals for the Donkey Kong Land games. I, I didn't own any of the Donkey Kong Country games growing up, but I did read the manuals. So I do know that these translations for some of the character names are more or less consistent. So yes, I will talk about some Donkey Kong character names, but most of these are not nearly as interesting as the Mario ones. So just to make sure that this video didn't run too short, I decided I might as well talk a little bit more about the different kinds of manuals that uh, Bergsala, the, Nordic, the official Nordic importer for Nintendo products, used to make. So especially during the early days of Bergsala's importing of NES games, literally any kind of game uh, that came out on the system would get an official translation from them, including rather obscure ones like this one, The Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, and Dragon Slayer. And indeed the translations would include st also stuff like the level names and such. There are at least some of the names, although you will notice that Master Spectre actually hasn't been translated. And here's actually some of my old notes for this particular game. However, it was during the entrance of the Game Boy and the Super Nintendo when we started to notice that while certain video game companies were still getting the fully translated manuals, some did not. And big shocker, the companies that did not get a fully translated color manual were often the third-party developers. This manual, which actually does have multiple languages, I just noticed. But especially for a lot of the Finnish manuals, all you got was this, the hor a kind of horrible black and white Xerox dealio. It seems to me that what happened around this time was that these third-party companies just weren't too bothered about splurging for a full-color manual for some of the Nordic languages. I recall that the manual for the Generation 1 Pokemon games was exactly like this as well. Though luckily they kind of came back to their senses during the N64 era. For instance, here's ISS with the fully translated Finnish manual as well. However, my favorite examples of how cheap some of these manuals could get at their worst is this. This is my manual for the Game Boy version of Mega Man 2. In fact, I noticed I have actually quite a lot of Game Boy manuals. Now, there's actually not a whole lot in here. It's a very light manual. Uh, you know, it's got your basic story sections, instructions on how to play the game, more instructions including uh, power-ups, this one ha has an entire page devoted to talking about Rush, and there's the Robot Masters, and this is the Finnish translated manual, which is literally just all of the pages of the English manual translated onto a single piece of paper. And there's Berksala's contact information just to make sure that you know that it's the real McCoy. So from these various different production methods of manuals, you should serve as a nice segue to the other thing which I mentioned about the name changes in the Mario games. Is that the Mario translations for Mario 1 and 2 tended to translate the character names fully. By the time Mario 3 came out, they started using the English names of these characters. That's because I think they changed translators at some point. And I think what also happened is that while the names of the characters in the Donkey Kong Land and Donkey Kong Country manuals were consistent, they stopped being consistent in the Donkey Kong 64 manuals, where for all the characters they just started using their English names. There's a couple of more Mario ones I wanted to point out. So from the manual Super Mario Land, uh, the translator apparently did not quite understand the purpose of the Power Star and actually says that Mario turns invisible rather than invincible. Unfortunately, the power-up page is lost in my finished manual, but I do seem to recall that this was a mistake that they made in the original Mario Brothers manual as well. Which is bizarre because the Danish and Swedish translations are, are actually correct. And it seems like Princess Toadstool actually had another alias from the manual for Wario Land. For some reason, the translator decided to translate Princess Toadstool's name as Princess Kultakutri, which is funny because Kultakutri is the Finnish name for Goldilocks. Okay, but enough stalling, let's talk about the Donkey Kong Country names as I promised. Now I only recall two of the Kongs ever getting translated names, 
The playable Kongs, Donkey, Diddy, Dixie, and Kitty, always retained their original names. They did fully translate the names of the Kong's assistant characters, with two notable ex exceptions, which were Espresso and Rambi. However, On Guard, for instance, is called Teranokka, which means Pokey Nose. I honestly don't remember what the names of the seal and spider allies were in Donkey Kong Country. The Finnish name, Rapele, actually means squirt, as in somebody who's tiny. And the seal's name, Pauke, means to slap or uh, to make a loud noise. Squawks the Parrot is called Vaku, which I think is pretty much a direct translation of that character's name. I have a vague memory of Swanky possibly having a Finnish name. Unfortunately, he didn't appear in the Donkey Kong Land Manual, so unfortunately, I don't have that information anymore. If somebody else happens to have the Donkey Kong Country Manuals, I'd appreciate a comment about th this particular topic. However, Cranky and Wrinkly originally did have specific Finnish names that were used in the manuals for all the Donkey Kong Country and Land titles. Cranky's Finnish name was Kertu Kong, which you could say is kind of a direct translation. However, the Finnish word for cranky is kertuinen. So what you can definitely tell is that they just took the word kertuinen and basically turned it into a noun. Here's cranky's advice from the uh, original uh, manual. Rikke Kong also has a sort of direct translated name. She was called Kurtukong. However, the same as with cranky, the actual Finnish word for wrinkly would be Kurtuinen, so they basically did the same thing, and so her name is literally Wrinkle Kong. Much like in the Mortal Kombat games, the Kremlin, spelled with a K, would substitute the letters G and K a lot in their character names, and they actually did this also weirdly for the Finnish name, which is Krivie. Now, they didn't do a substitution so much, the Finnish word for gremlin is rivia, so as you can see, they just added the letter K at the start because they realized that just replacing the letter R would have made the word seem kind of weird. I personally have always liked the name for the gremlins in Finnish because the Finnish word for crocodile starts with a K and R as well, meaning that this translation feels very appropriate. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say funky for some reason would sometimes have the Y in his name replaced with an I, which is kind of incorrect. I think the reason they did this is because the letter Y produces a different sound in Finnish than, than it does in English, and so they didn't want to confuse kids. That's why they sometimes replace it with an I. I do remember it being spelled with a Y as well. Now this is weird because this kind of a half measure doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, considering that the letter U still does not produce the same sound in Finnish. However, by far the weirdest name translation of any of the characters was for King K. Rule. Now, in case you're not aware, K. Rule's name is not just a pun, but it's a pun that is also the misspelling of a word. K. Rule's name obviously is supposed to be said as just cruel, but perhaps in an effort to try to indicate that we're talking about a goofy and perchance a not particularly smart villain, Rareware didn't just misspell the vowels in the word cruel, they also added the letter K, obviously, because that's kind of the gimmick with the Kremlin characters. However, K. Rule's Finnish name has always struck me as particularly bizarre and weird, and I've never really understood where it comes from. So, the Finnish name for K. Rule is Ko Ohje, which means that if we are supposed to apply the K. Rule name pun logic to it, that would mean that the completed word which makes up his last name should be Kohje. Now, I'm gonna level with you, I am not convinced Kohje is actually a Finnish word. I have never heard it out in the wild. To me, it would sound possibly like a noun, which means like a bungling mistake or something to that effect. But if it indeed is a Finnish word, then it has to be some very specific regional slang, because like I said, I've never heard it out in the wild. In fact, I'm so convinced that this might not in fact be a Finnish word that, that even when I was a little kid, I kind of assumed what the Berksala translator had actually done was to mistake the rule part in K. Rule's name as an actual word, as in rule, like the rules of a board game. Because the O-H-J-E part of his name, Ohje, is an actual Finnish word and means instruction. Now, unfortunately, I have no way to really confirm or deny, but trying to Google the word Kohje really just doesn't bring up anything, so that's why I'm almost certain that it's not a real Finnish word. However, if somebody out there happens to know 
where this name originates from, or indeed if Kohye is some kind of a word, then please let me know. But to me personally, it just kind of seems like the whole joke of the name just flew over the translator's head. Anyway, that was this follow-up video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Hunter the Hunter Mackinnon. See you on the next one.